There are two ways of creating return authorizations in N41. The first method is useful for linking to specific invoices and will be used a majority of the time. Let's start off by clicking on Customers within the N41 Pilot menu. Then click on the Return Authorization link. This will open the Return Authorizations window. Select New to create a new return authorization entry. Choose your customer from the drop-down list. Your customer list will automatically populate as you begin typing. After a customer has been selected, click on the Add Style by Customer Invoice button. This will open the Invoice History List window. You will see a list of all styles and colors sorted by invoice number. From this screen, you can easily select your style colors. Holding down the control key while clicking each line item will select multiple entries. Once all line items are selected, click the Select button to populate your style colors to the return authorization. Choose Yes to close the Invoice History List window. Alter the size quantities for each line item appropriately. Next, choose an RA reason from the header. Most likely, the reason will be labeled as damaged. Doing so from the header can automatically select the same RA reason for each individual line item by choosing Yes from the dialog box. Once you have verified all of the information of the return authorization, click Save to save it into the system. The second method is typically only useful when an invoice is not available in the system. An example being when the N41 system has been recently implemented in your company and a customer walks into your showroom with goods in hand. Again, let's start off by clicking on Customers within the N41 Pilot menu, then click on the Return Authorization link. This will open the Return Authorization window. Select New to create a new Return Authorization entry. Choose your customer from the drop-down list. Your customer list will automatically populate as you begin typing. After a customer has been selected, Click the red addition symbol to add a style line item in the detail section of the return authorization window. Choose your style from the drop down list. Your style list will automatically populate and filter as you begin typing. From the select color window, select the appropriate colors, alter the size quantities, and apply or change the listed price. Click the Select button to populate the data. Select the appropriate warehouse for each line item. Next, choose an RA reason from the header. Most likely, the reason will be labeled as damaged. Doing so from the header can automatically select the same RA reason for each individual line item by choosing Yes from the dialog box. Once you have verified all of the information of the return authorization, click Save to save it into the system. Keep in mind that a return authorization is related to a credit memo how a sales order is related to an invoice. Method number one of creating return authorizations should always be used except in extreme circumstances. To quickly create a credit memo from a saved return authorization, simply click the Credit Memo button. This process will be explained in the video called How to Create a Credit Memo. Method 2 of creating a return authorization should only be used when an invoice does not already exist. Be advised that when Method 2 is used that there it will be no direct link to any invoice and room for price errors will exist.